All right, let's see this, guys. Ubisoft, in the vein of what we just talked about with EA, Ubisoft is another one of these companies that never misses when it comes to adding BS into their games. But uh, tonight we have a pretty pretty happy thing. Hopefully it's a happy thing. I want it to be a happy thing. I heard some discourse online about this a little bit already. People are really upset about the main character. Uh, but let's find out. Uh, Assassin Creed Shadows. Official world premiere. Let's see how it is. Um, I do like the Assassin's Creed games. I only played, uh, I think, up to Black Flag. Uh, and enjoyed the absolute hell out of it. But I've never really, like, played the new ones, so I don't really know what to expect. I didn't play Valhalla. I did not play, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, Odyssey. I did not play Origins. But yeah, I did play the older ones. How's the sound? Let me turn it up. Okay. <clears throat> Looks cool. Who are you? Speaking English, that's weird. Who do you serve? I kind of want to see the Japanese version of this. Like, hear like it in, like, actual Japanese. I think that'd be really cool. Like, uh, there's a there's a thing with, like, you know, Yakuza, the Yakuza series. All the Yakuza games that I played, I've only played bits and pieces of a couple of them. But I played most out of Yakuza 0. While the voice acting in the US version is actually quite good, especially like, you know, Matt Mercer's Majima, for example. So like there's some really standout voice acting in it. Um, even with all of that, I actually just like you watch an anime. I kind of I kind of really like playing Yakuza Zero fully in Japanese. It, it kind of really, really worked even better. Yeah, I'd like to see that in this. All I have ever known in my life. Okay. I will end. Our customs. My family. That looks like the guy from um Last Samurai. <laughs> oh. Good roll. Oh man. A little bit loud. Sorry, guys. Just like movies, video game trailers a lot of times don't have sound balancing. They'll make the sound effects, like, way louder than any, like, talking. You are still a frog in a well who knows nothing of the sea. The ocean's filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Oh, this is why people are pissed. This is all I heard people talk about online. I kind of dodged most of the news, but everyone was pissed about this. I don't know why. I mean, like, I do know why. But yeah, I think people should be more upset that it's an Ubisoft game. So the game is probably going to suck. Like, I don't know why people were pissed off about this. We, it's, it's literally a fantasy uh, freaking, um, like, it, none of the, <laughs> none of the Ubisoft Assassin's Creed games are actually historically accurate. I don't know why people are pissed off about this. This is crazy. Yeah, and people are pissed because, like, there was a uh, um, African-American... No, no, sorry, uh, an African samurai back in the day uh, in... It, like, I think he was, like, a servant of Nobunga way back, and his name was Yusuke. Um, yeah, that that's why people online were mad, yeah. Uh, I mean, remember, gamers are racist. <laughs> you, you, you gotta remember, a lot of people are very racist. That looks cool. I just wish there was this was gameplay. This is not gameplay at all. Yeah, exactly, Ulfric. But it is histor somewhat historically accurate. Granted, um, uh, Yusuke, uh, the African uh, uh, guy who was who was uh, in the samurai world, 
he was kind of like only really a servant or a squire. He never actually became a true uh, samurai. So this is playing with it a little bit, but I actually don't think this is egregious. I think this is totally fine. I wish they had a choice to play like another actually like historically accurate Japanese person as well. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not like the worst thing in the world. And you... Will you continue down that river? Sure. Or choose another path beyond what we see. Then we must look for it. So I guess he's like the more brawly guy and she's like the, the stealthy person. Together. I wonder if you can swap in the middle of the fights. That'd be cool. That would actually be pushing the game genre forward. And I doubt they'll do that. We must learn to trust. Yeah, that's true, Ulfric. Yeah. I think the most cringe part was the fact that he did not wipe the blood off of his blade before sheathing it. True. That Yeah, that's actually annoying. I agree with you. That is legitimately annoying. Rebuild. And follow the blade. Okay. Yep, she's gonna be the stealthy one. <laughs> Holy displaced music, Batman. What is this song? Why is it in this scene? This is a stealth mission. What do they do? Oh my god, sorry. This trailer is directed terribly. I'm sorry. It's like hurting my brain. Ah, uh, yes. The quintessential stealthy assassin creed weapon. A giant spiked mace. Yes. I said, what is this? Oh my god. We are the shadows. That serve the light. All right. Well, there it is, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Pre-orders available now? Oh, hell yeah. Let's see the price. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit, guys. Dude, people are pissed off about the wrong thing. Everyone is yelling about the Black Me character instead of yelling at the fact that it's 130 fucking dollars. This is what people should be yelling about. Oh my god, three days early access. Oh my god. Day one DLC. This is what I was looking for. Day one DLC. Just like Star Wars Outlaws, Ubisoft cannot fucking help themselves. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I have not seen a single person talking about the price. That is why I wanted to check it. Everyone was so pissed off about Yusuke or whatever his name is, you know, analog to Yusuke. They decided to, uh, you know, completely not even look at the price tag. This is exactly what they were doing. Oh my god. Holy shit. Hey guys, you can get the entire game for $70 if you're a brokey. Or you can get the day one DLC with a major quest for $110. $40 jump from $69 to $110 if you want all the quests. If you're a brokey and you can only get the $70 version... Well, you know what? You don't get the quest, guys. Bam. Done and dusted. And the day one DLC. What is a pre-order bonus? Um, 
bonus quest. Oh, and you get another bonus quest. So not only is it locked behind DLC, but there is a second bonus quest for pre-ordering. So if you don't pre-order, you buy day one instead of pre-ordering, you also lose out on a quest. Oh my god, what is the ultimate pack? Oh, dude, you get extra gear. Pay to win for just $20 more. Five skill points? Literal in-game power. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Holy smokes, man. Not only are they locking quests and like, you know, actual in-game content behind extra price, they're also locking back actual in-game power in the form of gear and skill points. I mean, you know, I knew Ubisoft was scum, but this is even worse than Star Wars Outlaws. At least in Star Wars Outlaws, it was just cosmetics. And, and, you know, they had, the, of course, the quest locked behind Day 1 DLC and everything as well. They definitely did that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, they at least didn't have, like, skill points and shit. Like, that's crazy, man. Pay to win? <laughs> but I want you guys to know, this is a marketing trick. Now, I work in business for anyone who, is, uh, who doesn't remember or does not know uh, from my previous videos and stuff where I've talked about this. I literally work in business. I've had to deal with a lot of marketers. I've had to deal with a lot of marketing execs. I've had to deal with a lot of these types of idiots. So I know very, very well what they're doing here. This is not where it ends. Where it ends is right here. What they want to do is make you look at this be like, man, I'm missing out on so much if I don't pre-order, so I better pre-order so I can get this quest. And then they're using another marketing ploy for FOMO to make sure you try to get the extra $40 for the early access, for the extra quest locked behind the season pass. Not only that, they know that they're locking power behind the ultimate pack. So they're trying to make you look at this $130. Basically, what this is called is an upsell. They're trying to make you look at the $70 and then go for the upsell. Be like, man, $130, that's crazy, man. I don't want to spend $130. I'm just going to sign up for Ubisoft Plus because that's only $18 a month, which is quite a heavy price tag, by the way. I think that is higher than Xbox Game Pass. Let's check. How much is Xbox Game Pass per month? $9 a month. For Xbox Game Pass, nine dollars a month. So that's what you're comparing it with. Uh, but yeah, and uh, uh, not only that, the thing is, is eighteen dollars a month. You got a whole slew of other shitty Ubisoft games with pay-to-win microtransaction hell. But the other thing is, it makes it look like a good deal for core PC. Yeah, exactly. But still, core like core gives you what like more better games than Ubisoft Plus, like. Dude, half the games on Ubisoft Plus are dog shit anyways. Uh, that's the thing. So, like, even if you're getting Core for $9.99, you're still getting, like, a lot of indie games and everything in Xbox Game Pass. I mean, same thing with PS Plus. Like, I call PS Plus a worse deal than the Xbox Game Pass, but it's still a far better deal than Ubisoft Plus. Like, oh my god, it's not even close. But the thing is, this entire thing, this entire thing is, is basically made to make you look at this. It's the last one in the list. It's highlighted in blue. They might as well have like a fucking neon sign. Like, look at this. Day one with Ubisoft Plus. Uh, and it, they might as well have it with a neon sign saying, look here. This is the deal you want. Like, fuck it. Hot deal. Get it like hotcakes. They might as well do that for all of the other highlights that they're doing right here. Because th what they really want you to do is sign up for Ubisoft Plus. If you haven't figured out Every subscription knows that most people who get the subscription forget about canceling the subscription when they're done. Say you get Ubisoft Plus at the beginning of the game. You actually won't even have access to the season pass. So you're, it'll basically give you like a mental indicator that you're going to want to keep Ubisoft Plus until the season pass comes out with the expansions that come out, you know, months and months down the road. And let me tell you, by the time the DLCs come out, it'll already have been more worth it to have uh, essentially almost have wor uh, worth it to buy the the uh, the season pass in, in this version as opposed to buying enough months to wait. 
the amount of months it'll take for the actual DLC to come out, you can estimate like what? 10 months. Let's give 10 months for both DLCs, which is going to be more than that. Generally for DLCs, especially when they have effort put into it, it'll be far longer than 10 months. But let's just say generous 10 months. That's $180. $180 and you're already at their beck and call and you'll probably forget after you wait that long to play the entire game with all the DLCs, you'll probably forget to cancel it. Most people do. It's like a solid, what is it, like 40% or something? I don't know. The research is out there. Anyone can look it up on Google. And um, But that is why every single thing is a, is a, a subscription now because it, it, people, uh, the companies that do the, uh, the subscription services, they make far more money by forcing you into a subscription service because you'll forget to cancel it and you will use it far less because everyone has like a billion different subscriptions and they forget them all the time. And also when you sign up for Ubisoft Plus, you are also signing over a whole bunch of your data. You're signing over an absolute ton of your data and they'll be able to market to you. They'll be able to recommend you other Ubisoft games. You'll have to use the Ubisoft launcher. This is, your data is worth more than the $130 price tag for the Ultimate Edition. That is, that is what we learned during the Helldivers debacle with PSN. They were willing to forego millions of sales in, company, uh, in companies, in countries like Sri Lanka, uh, in countries like Pakistan, which has 360 million people and a lot of them are gamers, uh, in countries like Europe, lots of European countries, the Baltics and everything, those aren't poor countries. It's not like, it's not like random, like, you know, places in uh, the, the depths of uh, uh, Africa or something like that, which, you know, they deserve the game as well. But PSN didn't care about, and Sony and PSN did not care about any of those countries. They would rather steal essentially the data from all of the PSN signups rather than make money. That shows you how valuable your data is. Always, always protect yourself, guys. I will always give it to you straight. I will always give you my insight as a businessman into what these scumbag, bullshit, dog shit companies are trying to do. And this is exactly what they're trying to do. Yeah, man, dude, Twitter needs to wake the fuck up, man. Everyone was pissed off about an African-American character instead of being pissed off about this. Oh my God. Yeah, this, this should tell you, man. This should tell you. Holy crap. I hope people wake up. Because this is this is the real travesty. This is the real travesty. And also, like, Ubisoft is killing their game by doing this. When Star Wars Outlaws comes out, it, this kind of, this, this is very similar to the monetization of Star Wars Outlaws. Um, but yeah, they're going to kill Star Wars Outlaws with that. And they're going to kill Assassin's Creed with this. This is exactly what they're trying to do. Bar none. And uh, this is a gamble for Ubisoft, but this is a gamble they're willing to take. Because they think we're going to take it. Stay strong, give them negative reviews, refuse to buy the game, make content about all of the, these dog shit practices and the companies will bend, they will break, they will back down. Ubisoft has done it before. They've tried too hard to try to do something like this. They've uh, overreached and when they've met with actual resistance, they actually back off. Fight them. It, it, and, and they will break. They will absolutely break, guys. Remember when gaming was an escape from Californication and now it's seeping into games? It's not seeping into games. It's deep-seated in games, you'll frick. It's deep-seated in the gaming landscape now. And that is why it is important to be loud and fight back every single time. Bully the companies. They will bend. They will break, guys, if you bully the companies. Companies are far easier to bully than people imagine and people think. We made Sony drop like 20 points on, on their stock. Not 20, sorry. It was, it's 20 since like the last six months. It, it, for, for the entire Helldivers debacle, it's like a drop of like five points, which is still considerable, considering that they're uh, at their peak, they had a, a price of like 100. Uh, is Disney going to step in? What's going on? Disney threatened to completely take away Star Wars license from EA a number of years ago uh, after the buyout because of how EA handled the license. Now we have Ubisoft doing the same shit. Oh yeah. Is Disney going to step in? No. You know why? Because Disney is going to get enough of a kickback from it. That's why. They know they're going to make more money from it. Disney doesn't care. Disney is one of the worst companies in terms of, you know, uh, abusing their publishing rights, abusing their copyrights and everything. Disney is one of the absolute worst, man. 
the mouse is is like one of the most horrible com companies out there. I mean, they might hunt me down and kill me for saying that, but it's true. Absolutely. Yeah, abusing, just abusing. Yeah. Triple A companies in, in any media, uh, in any space, really. But this includes Disney for movies and videos and games and TV shows and everything. They do the same shit all the time. Why do you think we've gotten so many uh, more dog shit remakes? This is exactly the same reason. And, and they always push Disney Plus, Disney Plus exclusive shows and all that shit. This is exactly the same reason. 100%. I will never forget, Existential, that Netflix made, like, what is it, five amazing, amazing Marvel shows. They made Daredevil. They made Iron Fist, which was, you know, a little bit weaker, but still pretty good. I still enjoyed it. They made, um, uh, what is it called? Oh, fuck. Luke Cage. Jessica Jones, uh, then they made The Punisher and Defenders. So The Defenders was kind of its own thing, but it was like a one season thing. And then they made multiple seasons of each. And then, and then Disney stepped in and they said, not only can you stop, not only do you have to stop making these shows, they, they also took away all the shows from Netflix and they put it on Disney Plus to try to force people to go to Disney Plus. And you can no longer watch those shows anywhere but Disney+. Plus. That is how they abuse their copyrights. That is exactly how. Are they legally allowed to do this? Yes. But is it still a dog shit practice that is basically an abuse of their rights? Also, yes. It is absolute horseshit. It's, it's, never, it's never too late to, uh, to remember exactly what kind of shit that they're capable of. I hate Disney for that shit. Oh my god, man. Oh my God. And that is why it took so long. Like now we're finally getting another um, uh, Daredevil, but we should have had a Daredevil season four way long ago. We should have had a Defender season two. We should have had like, dude, they canceled Iron Fist at the end of season two when it was just getting good. Like they had guns shooting out like key bullets and all kinds of wackiness at the end of season two of Iron Fist. It was dope as hell, man. And you're like, finally, this show, which started off so poorly, is starting to really grow in itself. And we never got a season three and we never will because the mouse had to step in and be a complete son of a bitch about it. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my God, man. Holy smokes, man. Holy crap. We should have had a Punisher season three, man. God, Punisher is still one of the best shows. Like I love Daredevil is easily like top second place for me for all of Marvel Disney but uh, Marvel Disney shows. But uh, Punisher is number one for me, man. Punisher is like fucking art each season of punisher as well both of them like season two is not even a letdown anyway season two is like on par with season one of punisher holy smokes man and we'll never get a season three the chances are extremely extremely low disjointed i actually really liked it i really really liked it uh existential personally i i i, I mean it, it's it's subjective taste but for me season two of punisher was as good as season one i love both of them I love both of them. Anyways, that's my spiel. Talking a little bit about a lot of things. But this is why people should actually be pissed off about Ubisoft. Raise the alarm bells. Tell your friends, especially if they're Assassin's Creed fans. Because the sooner we make a big stink about it, the sooner we have a chance for Assassin's Creed uh, to be changed by Ubisoft to not have this horse shit in it. It's going to take a lot of fighting. I don't think they'll, uh, I don't think they'll change this. By the way, I think we're stuck with this. I, I think it's uh, because, you know, people aren't talking about it right now. They're talking about just a random main character who happens to be black. That's all they really care about. Anyways, that's my spiel. If you liked it, give it a like, give it a sub, share it with your friends. We talk about gaming news all the time in here, and we cover it all live on Twitch. And you can join in on the conversation. As you can see, I was replying to chat. They're an amazing group of people. We'd love to have you there. Cap Corgi on Twitch. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Holy smokes, man. I hope you guys like that. That was, oh my God. I'm really glad I talked about it. I don't know why I closed the tab. Yeah, I'm really glad I talked about it, man. Holy crap. Oh God. EA and Ubisoft, two of the most dog shit companies ever to exist. Straight up, man. If those companies were wiped from the face of existence tomorrow, we would actually be losing nothing. We'd be losing nothing. Oh my god, it's so true. No doubt in my mind. 